So, I'm out here working on the garden all. Took this piece off, not realizing what it was, uh, until a couple of nice gentlemen in the garden tractor Facebook group that I'm a member of mentioned to me that it's actually a mower deck lift. I had thought somebody had made this piece for something else. Not real, didn't realize it was actually a factory part. Uh, but while I'm here, I'm going to tell you a little bit of what I know about this tractor. Uh, I acquired it from the safety manager at my work. He uh, he collects farm farm tractors. His father had this, and I'm not sure how it ended up from his father's place to his, other than that he drove this tractor seven miles on the road from his father's home to his, uh, using an external coil to run the engine is because the original engine for this tractor, the coil is beyond saving. Uh, the enamel or whatever was used to insulate it has cracked and splintered and I'm sure if I tried to use it it probably would short oh, I'm missing a bolt here or nut here uh, sure we can go. but the, he reached out to me a couple months back mentioned, hey, I got this garden all tractor. I know you work on, you know, the walk behinds. Do you want this thing? I need the space for another tractor. Or for my, uh, need the space in my barn for the farm alls. Uh, I kind of hemmed and hawed for a bit. Uh, he didn't want anything for it, which had me a little suspicious on whether it ran, ran but he was right, it does run. The, uh, the original engine, though, is a bit worse for wear. Uh, I, I, I need to do rings and main bearings in it. But other than that, it's a good, good, saveable engine. Uh, with the, If I run it off an external coil. But I brought it home. Thought it looked funny because it was mostly red. But all the ones that I had Googled were green. Until I hit the hood with a wire wheel and found out that somebody at some point rattle canned the tractor brick red on top of the original jade green paint. So I've, I've stripped off as much of the red as I can without removing the green. So unfortunately, it's not all original, or at least it doesn't look completely original, but it does have a decent patina to it. So I'm not going to go through with repainting the tractor. It's worth more with the original paint still on it, as is. If I do ever decide to sell it, which I probably will not for a long time. Uh, but uh, from the factory, it would have been equipped with a Kohler K90, which it did have on it still. Um, I have swapped that over to a K91 uh, while I source parts to rebuild the, uh, the original engine. Uh, the tires on it, they hold air. They're good enough for what I'm going to do with it. It's mostly going to be a show and display tractor. Uh, I mean, I might roll the lawn with it occasionally, but it's not going to be getting a ton of abuse and doing hard work like it would have originally, but with the K90 in it, it would have been a four horsepower uh, on the power take, or four horsepower from the engine. Uh, you see, it's very simple. There, there's no transmission in this. Uh, this is your transmission. There's reverse, and there's forward. It quite literally works just like a tiller. Friction drive reverse, belt forward, reduction box on the on the engine, which luckily I did find a K91 that had 
a reduction box on it so I didn't have to swap the one off the old engine because that would have required finding a crankshaft and all that. Um, I have no idea what implements this tractor could have had other than the mower deck that would have hung off the front. But it's a very, very simple machine. Uh, I'm not sure how well the camera's going to pick this up. But underneath here, you've got chain coming down from the pulley to a jack shaft. And runs back the differential which also doubles as the brake cage or brake drum cable steering it's it's quite literally wrapped around the end of the the steering wheel shaft the back end has a differential but again it's there's no transmission back there it's just an open it's just a cage on the sprocket uh, it does have a brake but it's a band it's a pad brake that just rubs on the differential cage um, that's currently covered in grease, so it does not stop on its own right now on a hill. Although, reverse kind of works as a brake if you're careful. Um, yeah, other, other than that, there's not much to it. I mean, there's, you know, it's got a rear hitch. It could have had some sort of implement off the back here. I think, actually, the ads I saw, there was a cultivator, and it kind of worked like a three-point. You had two lower points. And then up here, on the lift lever, there's your top link right there. So I'm, I'm assuming it would have been like a manual three-point on here for a cultivator or disc or single bottom plow. The front mower deck would hang off, that, off this pivot right here. When it was down, the weight of it would pick this pedal up, uh, pedal up to here, and that finger right there that you see moving down under there, when you push down on this pedal, it would literally push down on a tail on the, on the mower deck to pick it up. I don't know if there was a lock or anything, but again, it's super simple. Two independent lifts. Uh, I don't have a printout of the ad. If I did, I, I'd uh, show that on on camera here. But solid tires in the front, pneumatic in the back, five lug. You know, there's there's standard garden tractor rims. But uh, my understanding is that the company Gardenall, they were based in Liberty, Indiana. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera. Uh, pretty much all their tractors were made in Liberty, uh, including the pop, uh, including this model, the Pup. Uh, they had a larger model, which uh, I will try to uh, provide a link to a video of that one, of one of those in action uh, in the uh, under the. Uh, they also had a two-wheel walk-behind model, uh, which pretty much would have been as simple as this one the other the larger model i believe has an actual transmission and differential and all that and a three point or something similar but they are very very simple and they were made in the 40s i believe if anybody wants to correct me on any of this info please do so in the comments all i ask is that you're respectful uh I have never really messed with one of these before, so I'm not very well educated on them. Uh, this is honestly the first time I've actually also really messed with a four-wheel garden tractor other than a Alice Chalmers B112, which is unfortunately beyond saving. Uh, the, diff the transmission on that has given up the ghost, and so has the variable belt, uh, variable belt drive on it, because it weirdly had a three speed with variable but yeah that's the uh the garden all again very very simple the oh the steering wheel on this would have been you know just a regular three spoke ring but 
at some point in this tractor's life it's been broken off the, the front end was all bashed in i had to take a wood block and beat it out as best as i could to get it fairly straight um, these louvers were all folded in on the front but if anybody has a lead on a steering wheel that might fit this shaft i think it's like a one inch shaft maybe maybe one and a quarter i haven't mic'd it out yet but i'm pretty sure it's just a roll pin or set screws on here eh, yeah roll pin but i am trying to find a steering wheel because it's the only part i really want to replace on this is the steering wheel because riding around on this thing at shows and stuff having these two points uh, it's a little bit hairy and it's also kind of uncomfortable trying to steer this sucker when you don't have a wheel but yeah uh, thank you for watching i'll try to put some more updates on this as i go again i'm not doing a cosmetic restoration on it i'm going to be mainly preserving this tractor uh, unlike my simplicity walk behind and the bolens walk behind those tractors are both going to be restoration projects. Um, that's only because the Simplicity was in very, very rough shape. Uh, there was almost no paint left on it, and mechanically it needed a lot of work. So while I had it apart, it was worth painting. Uh, whereas the Bolins just has some minor touch-ups that I need to do. I just need to match some paint on a couple parts that were replaced. Um, and some new decals. Yeah.